Um, what's up, y'all? I don't know if y'all follow Peach. You know, she really cool. I really like Peach. I feel so bad for what she's going through right now. But she ain't going through nothing that most women ain't going through. When you dealing with a trifling ass nigga, married to one at that, where you taking care of everything. And this is why, ladies, we have to learn to put ourselves first. We have to stop being desperate for love and holding on to the fact that you love a person. You can love people all day long. That don't mean that you got to stay and be their doormat. You know, but for her circumstance, you got seven kids. A, a person with all them kids, I will never truly want you to split with the dad because that's a lot. But a lot of women in this situation like her already feel, ain't a feel, already doing everything by themselves. Then you got to make all the money. And then you could tell she do his YouTube channel. Like a lot of women, it's no reason. You don't have to, you are not his mama. It's not your job to raise no man. It's not your job to do applications for him. It's not your job. If anything, you need to hire that nigga a tutor so he can learn how to read and write for his damn self so he can do his own job applications. You got your own kids to tend to. A lot of times women be married with kids and your husband, your baby daddy, your boyfriend is the, is the extra kid. Now she got eight kids. She just had the seventh baby. You got a C-section a couple days ago. Went into emergency, emergency C-section. Baby in a NICU. You not really supposed to be walking around. Got six other kids, really like five small ones. Like that really need you. And this nigga be, want, and he want to pick and choose what he want to do. He want to act like he's so tired, sleeping in so late. It's, it's drama. And, but it's sad, though, because no woman should have to go through that. And most of us go through the most shit when we pregnant, when we pregnant and just had that baby. These men will put you through the most when you pregnant with their baby. Not all of them. Not all of them. But a lot of us got the same story. The same damn stories. And it's tired. It's tired. You know, but we have to also take accountability because the sign's been here since day one, since month one, since year one. And you still just holding on to hope. You holding on to hope. A lot of these men are lost. A lot of them are confused. A lot of them live in secret lives. A lot of them don't know God. A lot of them don't have a relationship with God. A lot of them don't understand that they were made in God's image. A lot of these men, a lot of us, period, don't even know that we God chosen people. A lot of us have strayed so far away that we don't know the real. We don't know the real about who we are. Men don't know their role. Women don't know their role. Because of the lack there of leadership of men, now women have to take on more responsibility than we have to. We have to also, we have to be the breadwinners. We have to make the money, take care of the kids, cook, clean, give, throw pussy every chance he wanted just so he don't go out and cheat. It's a lot. It's a lot. And that's exactly why my ass said, I'm, I, to hell with a man. To hell with a man. Like... Yes, we need them, but we need them to show up and show out every day like we have to. You don't get no days off. You don't get no days off. We don't get no days off, neither do you. Yeah, it might get hard as being a man for being a provider, being a protector, but don't, that's, your, that's your role. You got to roll with the punches. But to see that it's so many women taking care of men, the roles has reversed and they wonder why women can't submit. They wonder why so many masculine women. Anytime a woman got to be a provider, I don't care what nobody say. If a woman has to be a provider, if she has to use the brains, do all the thinking for the family, she got to think about, okay, how we going to make the next dollar? How we going to manage this dollar that I get, how I'm getting? You paying for his stuff. You you paying for everything for him. For one, it's, he's not going to respect you. Because a man is in a man's nature to naturally want to provide, to naturally be able to provide. A lot of these men, though, are so weak and broken. A lot of these men have been beat down from little boys. They don't love themselves. Their self-esteem is to the floor. No wonder why the women's self-esteem is to the floor. They are the leaders. They're supposed to be. But a lot of them seeing their mama taking care of a nigga, letting that nigga lay up in her house, letting a nigga do whatever to her and the kids so now they grow up their self-esteem is ripped 
A lot of these men have piss poor self-esteem as men. This is why they begin hating on the women. This is why even though they'll see as a woman, you went through all of that too. A lot of us go through the same shit as them. We go through the same shit they go through as women. And we got to just ch take that shit on the chin. We just got to take it, eat it, keep it pushing. Keep it pushing. Because we got kids to feed. We can't let our kids go without. But these men want to sit around and make excuses for why they can't do this. And to watch her stuff, you know, because she, you know, she puts it out there. To watch it is very sad. And you can just tell she tired today. She called his ass. Uh, she said, I'm, this is what happens when you married to a bum. And it is. I watched my mama be married to a bum. It gets tiring. And in the beginning, you'd be like, okay, I'm going to hold it down. You'd be like, okay. That's why, you know, from the beginning, because what you allow from the beginning is what will continue and it'll only get worse. It'll only get worse. Ain't no man supposed to be sitting back just letting his woman do all the damn work and just chuck it up to her. You strong? You got this? Mm. But sometimes we be so big on being strong and independent. They be like, all right, Miss Independent, be independent. Do it all. And then because you're so desperate for love, you like, you're going to do it all while still having him laying around here? Hell no. If I got to do it all, I'm going to do it all by my goddamn self. You're going to get the fuck from around me. You're going to get from around me because I don't need no dead space, no dead energy, no drunken ass nigga, no, no nigga that can smoke and drink all day and think you think I'm supposed to throw pussy at you, but you ain't supposed to show up. And you think I even want to give my body to you, waste my juices on you, waste my good throat on you. You think I want to do that? Negative. Negative. And it's just sad because you can even see you putting that nigga on, you doing his YouTube. The money that he made, then she posts the videos, he make his money, you know. Now, you know, we don't know everything that's going on in people's life, but at the end of the day, we humans. And all the relationships be the fucking same. Be fucking for real. You might not be going through it at this time that another person going through it, but all of the shit is the same. We are humans. We live the same shit. All the same type of issues. I had a little baggie where I had did that, and this is the time that I needed it by my daughter messing with it. Actually, I made a little baggie. We all go through the, the same issues as humans. Some of y'all didn't grew up in foster care. Some of y'all uh, got abandonment issues. Humans go through the same shit. It don't matter your race or your color. Been raped or molested. She didn't mess with my baggie. A lot of us go through the same shit. Can't read or write. A lot of these niggas can't read or write. That's why they need a fucking tutor. They sitting around worried about getting pussy. You need, you need a tutor. A tutor. What's this one? Got a deceased parent or loved one. A lot of us. We humans. We go through the same shit. Same type of issues. Been bullied in school. We're humans. We go through the same shit. The same relationship issues. Single mom, no support. Or single dad, no support. Same issues. You feeling like you're too fat, too skinny, you're too ugly, you're insecure. A lot of people have the same issues. You've been homeless, been broke, been poor, been abu abused mentally, physically, verbally. We're human. A lot of us is dealing with the same shit. Same narcissistic parents. Dealing with whole ass baby daddies, whole baby mamas, whole wives who cheating on you, bringing you back STDs. We're humans. We go through the same shit. Everybody does not go through it at the exact same time. You might have lost somebody today. I lost somebody a couple years ago. You might have did. You might be going through this issue in your marriage right now, your relationship right now. I done went through that shit last year. You didn't face homeless today. I was just homeless a couple weeks ago. Okay? Like, right. we all going through the same shit. Just at different times. And at different levels. Some people get in a lot worse than others. Some people in toxic relationships and they getting a lot of verbal abuse more so than physical abuse. Some people getting more physical abuse than they are getting verbal abuse. Some people getting financially abused because you don't got no money and you make, let him make all the money. That's not Two people always need to be making their own money. And if you have a man who's making all the money, you and he's giving you money, you need to be saving your money. You need to be investing your money. Everybody can invest in index funds. That's easy. Everybody can be investing in index funds. And when I see situations like this, where it's like a woman, you paying all this money for a, for a man. But do y'all not think about the fact that you have kids, especially having that many kids. You have seven children. You just birthed another one. No amount of, no amount of kids... 
No matter the title, y'all really be thinking y'all on some pedestal above us baby mamas because y'all married and y'all be with trash bucket ass husbands. Trash bucket husbands who cheating on you with a baby mama. Who treat cheating on you with a woman making less than you. With a woman whose body is uglier than yours. Who look uglier maybe. Who got less hair than you. We do all type of stuff to make us feel above the next woman when in all actuality, we all go through some similar shit. We all go through some similar shit. But at the end of the day, instead of spending all this money on a nigga, you know, because now this is what happens. Then you get mad and you want to throw in the nigga face all that you had done for him. But you should have never did all that shit anyway in the first place when he can't do that shit for you. It's about equal reciprocity. If you got a good man and he take care of you, you damn right you supposed to take care of him. You damn right. When I was with my first BD, that man took care of the bills. He did everything. I contributed my little, you know, paid my little uh, utility bill, my little $100 utility bill. You know, I go half on the grocery sometimes. Like, I pick up what he lacking. If he lose his job, all the money that I've been saving, okay, this the money that now we're going to cover the rent. We're going to do all of that. When I got pregnant and I got fired, it, he wasn't stressing. He was like, all right, I'll just... He used to be making the joke like you you just think you be acting like that lady off of everybody hates Chris to be like my man got two jobs <laughs> my man got two jobs he used to be saying that and you know but I understand too that I'm a, I'm gonna go work I'm in my, my storage ran out but I remember I had to go get it I mean I ain't had to but I went and go because I'm just not a lazy person I'm not gonna sit around and not have nothing coming in like because I do understand that. My man going to take an L. I know he lose jobs too. You know, he's a black man. He's strong. He's, you know, he, he's a threat to society. He's a threat to the, them. So in a workplace, I know he faced certain things. So I know you're going to, something's going to happen. So I got to be able to pick up when you are lacking, when you are off of work for a month and you just, you know, doing little hustles to make money for us. But a man that's provided by nature, he never going to just sit around and let his woman do all the work. He going to always be on trying to get back get back to his grind even when he take that ill and lose his job that's how i know a man versus a bum a bum gonna make excuses a man not gonna make no excuses a man gonna get up when he don't feel like it he gonna do what he gotta do he ain't, ain't gonna make no excuses drunk and all you gonna get your ass up go to work all that it don't matter what you happened last night you gonna still get your ass up because you know if I don't go and work, I'm not going to eat. A man knows that. A man is a hunter by nature. A lot of these men have been so feminized, though, because you got mamas that do everything for you. She want to coddle you, enable you, and then you go get with enabling-ass women. And a lot of women, y'all take the blame for why your man does the things he do because you coddle him. You enable his behavior. All you got to do is say a simple, I'm sorry, throw dick on you. And now you all, you all, okay, it's all good now because y'all so dickmatized. Women are so digmatized, so gun hold on. I mean, I love him. Okay, okay, like what the fuck, okay? It's love. You can you can still love him. After everything, I still have love for both of my baby dads. Even with the weirdness with that second one and all that. Because I have compassion for him. I appreciate him for birth helping me with with producing my children so i always gonna have a special place in my heart for them does that mean that i'm fucking with y'all does that mean i want y'all around me because y'all already showed me y'all got snake behavior does that mean that i want that type of toxic energy around me just because i love you y'all let love and it's because once again a lot of people been raised on toxic love y'all let the love that y'all have for people overweigh everything else Y'all let them treat you like doormats because you love them. And you wonder why you can't get no respect. Respect is earned. If you show a man you not to be respected, he's not going to respect you. You go for anything. Why should he change you when you go for anything that he giving you? He can bring you back STDs. You still going to be all in love. He can cheat on you. He can bring a woman in your bed. Y'all really good with that. I wish. I probably would literally be in the damn jailhouse. If I ever came home. And saw that, but once again, it's about respect. It's about respect. Some of y'all don't even respect your own household to not to bring that type of drama around your house. What you do out in the streets, I don't ever know what my baby daddy used to be doing. And when we lived together, he take care of home. If that nigga out cheating, I don't know because none of that drama comes to the house. I ain't searching through his phone all the time. But when I feel something else up, I'm going to know it. When he get to acting different and shit every three months like he would do, I'm like, y'all, right, something up with you. Like, but on a regular day, 
if you go out, I'm not clock you, I'm not doing all of that stuff. But if you go out and, you know, he makes sure home is taken care of, bills paid, he'll cook me some dinner, all of that stuff. And I just stay in the house taking care of my damn child. I still go to work too, save my little money, do my thing, do my contrib contribution to the house, you know, get that coochie up when he wanted to. And yeah, I did my part. But if you're dealing with a man that's not a provider, even still with that, some of these men that's providers don't mean that they get to treat you and emotionally abuse you. You like it's it's really levels to it. But you, you gotta pick your struggle. But when you doing all the work, you dealing with a bum ass nigga who don't pay no bills, or he may pay bills three times a year. When he finally get up on his feet, they all a man is always trying to get on his feet. It's it's it's, it's it, big now. And then y'all be having all these kids. I don't care if you're married with a man. That does not mean you have all those children. Because one thing about it, that's why they think they can do that. Because you got all these kids. They like, she can't go nowhere. Where are you going with seven kids? And then they'll use that, who gonna munch you? You know, there's men out here who will deal with you with 13 kids. But it's not even about that. It's about learning to love yourself. Because if you loved yourself, you wouldn't even allow your, a man to just keep on throwing his, to keep on getting you pregnant when he ain't even showing you that he's a liable leader. A man can be a good father, a decent father, but not be a good man to you. And a lot of us, as we women, we hold on to that because there's not a lot of good fathers out here. So we see a good father. We see that he's a good father. It do make us love him more. It do make us like him because it's like, damn, you really, you really a good dad. Like you tentative to your kids. You show up for your kids. You cook for your kids. You clean for your kids. But a lot of these niggas just be just that. House husbands, babysitters. That's not what God designed a man to do. God did not design a man to play house husband. A man is supposed to be out, out here building the damn world. That's why I salute all the men that be out here building the world. They deserve their woman to bring them lunch and all of that stuff. Y'all are building the houses, building the communities, building the highways, building the roads for us to get around. Like fixing the cars so that we can drive our cars. Like men are supposed to do these things. Men are supposed to use their brains to be creative and innovative to create these things. The men in tech, because you don't necessarily have to be doing hard labor, but look at how technology serves us. So the men that's using their brains to produce tech, to produce apps, to produce cash flow, these men are leaders. They're providers. That's what a man is supposed to do. But these other ones, they just sit back, and let a woman just do everything. And as a woman, if they see you can do that, they're going to say, they're like, she got it all, shit. And y'all be bragging about it. Mm, I do all this. I'm the alpha woman. I'm the alpha female. I do this. I do that. No woman should have no C-section. Just giving birth, period. And have to come home and do it all. But once again, we have to take accountability. Because you knew who he was before you had that first child. Sometimes you might not know before the first one, but the red sound, the red flags be there. We ignore them. But after the second baby, after the third baby, after the fourth baby, after the fifth baby, after the sixth baby, after what is it gonna give of who you dealing with? When is it gonna give? But this is why I say our self-esteem levels is two to four. Men and women, the black community, period, because we so used to being shunned, put down, kicked down. We don't even realize how strong we are. We know we're strong, but we don't exercise our strength in the areas that really matter. And then we wonder why we keep getting trampled over, taken advantage of by everybody. They try to kick us to the bottom. They purposely have tried to lower our self-esteem because all of the, the harsh treatment that has happened to us as a black people. But we're resilient because we literally get our strength from God. We are the chosen people. We're God's chosen people. We get our strength from God. If y'all haven't watched that other video, because this is probably going to go up after that one, because that other one is way more important about the Antichrist and how they, the Antichrist, the enemy, why the attack has been on the black family. Because he say the black people are the most spiritual people because we God's chosen people. We don't know. Everybody else know, but we don't know who we are. And he said in the video, 
the number one thing that will ruin his whole his whole agenda is if a black man found his identity in Christ. And that's the one thing they do is want to keep the black men away from God, away from church. Y'all know how I feel about church. Because you don't have to have God to go to the church. You don't have to have, you don't have to go to the church to have God. But this is all tricks of the enemy, bro. This is why God is using me to get up here, talk my stuff that I talk, Tell, tell y'all who y'all. He's he's waking a lot of us up. The day is going to come when we get it together. It's going to come because it's biblical. It was written. And they know it too. Society knows. The enemy knows. We got to get it together, bruh. Ladies, you got to love yourself. Stop being holding on to love and the fact that you got these kids and feeling like you can't make it without them because you love him. What is love getting you? Beat the hell up. Mentally, physically, spiritually. Some of y'all physically. Most mentally. Most spiritually. Most financially. And you'll be willing to spend all this money investing in a fucking nigga and don't have shit saved up for your kids. Especially you have all them kids. You got all these kids. Make sure you got investments for the kids. All the money you spending buying this man, chains and all of this stuff. Because she didn't put it out there. <laughs> she said, I didn't cash the chain and she ain't playing. She put her foot down today. But invest that stuff in your kids' future. We be so gone hold on trying to invest in this nigga. Your kids are the future. What you going to do in 10 years when, you're, when your kid's ready to go to college or even when they ready to buy their first house, you can have that money saved up for them to be able to get them their first 20K for their first down payment. We need to start being ready to set our kids up for success. This is why at this day and time, the black man and the black woman both, both need to be in their purpose. Being in your purpose. Yes, the money can be made from home. We're in a time where the money can be made. I see so many couples get together, do family YouTube channels to make the money. Start their businesses, open up stores. Invest in real estate together. It's so much competition between a black man and black woman that y'all can't even come to good. We can't even come together for the greater good. Because men are now envying the women. Because God is giving us dominion now. He's, put, he's, he's calling us to the forefront because the men don't want to lead. So the women taking the lead now. And now the man is mad at the women for taking the lead. And y'all want to try to kick us down and, and beat up our self-esteem and do all these things because you envious. Well, you need to put your big boy draws on. All this big D energy y'all have. Y'all got egos bigger than your D. Take that same energy and pour it into your craft. That's what needs to be happening. It's just sad to see. But it's it's both parties. Women ain't the victim. Because if you stop allowing so much stuff from day one and then in hopes that it'll eventually get better, that ain't how it works. That ain't how it works. You got to set the tone from day one. You got to demand your respect from day one. You get the respect that you earn. And if you show that I can treat you like anything, me as a woman, I don't even like a man that just allow, that go for anything. If I could cheat on you, talk crazy to you, do all this, and you still just so desperate for me and you still so pressing me, that's a turn off. So I know as men, they be like, I mean, of course, for these narcs, it works out in their favor. But it's because they lose respect for you. They like, shit, you will tolerate it and still stay with me. I'm, I'm going to keep doing this shit. Why? All you going to do is keep complaining and not do nothing. You're a nagger. Like, that's why I used to even say to my ex. I'm like, bro, you keep claiming I'm cheating on you. All these lies that you tell yourself. You coming up with stuff. You texting niggas from my phone and shit. You doing weird shit. If you feel like this, instead of keep complaining about me, won't you stop bothering me? Leave me the hell alone. Just be a, just get your damn daughter. And leave me alone. Stop worrying about me. So it goes. It's because these men be feminized as hell. 
It's these spirits. It's these spirits, these weak spirits that's been put on people because, because of what has been going on from childhood. We have been groomed to be weak. Groom to take anything that's given to us, anything that's thrown away, just deal with that. You know, it said, I pray for Peach, I pray for her healing, I pray for all the women out there that's going through that. If you're in a marriage or a relationship, whatever situation your mess is, I pray that you get through it. Just know that God got you, and I and God will shake things up when He's trying to get your attention, God will shake it up. And a lot of times, God not at the forefront of a lot of y'all marriages, to be clear. God ain't at the forefront of the majority of our relationships and we wonder why they don't work out, why the enemy ab easily able to get in because God was never at the forefront. You got a whole man that don't believe in God when he's supposed to, it's, it's supposed to be a hierarchy. It's supposed to be children, women, men, Christ, God. You got women that's idolizing their husband more than you idolize God. God said not to have no idols. You can't idolize your mama, your daddy, your husband. You can love them. You can cherish him, appreciate him, show your appreciation through gifts, through whatever, you know, your source of love language, his source of love language is. But you still don't idolize them and put them before God. God needs to come first. And a man that understands God and have a relationship with God, he going to understand that. He going to understand that. If he's truly aligned with God and you're aligned with God, y'all going to already, y'all going to already know what to do. Y'all going to already know who to seek out when y'all having issues. Y'all already going to know. Y'all going to know what to do. But when you got a man who's an unbeliever, a woman who's halfway a believer, it's, 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 doomed, it's, gonna, it's doomed from day one. And God is shaking it up. He'll allow the devil to get right in your relationship, to shake it up just for you to call on him. Look how sis doing, like most women do. When you hit, when shit hit the fan and you calling on God more than ever, we all do. We all be paying God no mind until shit start going wrong in our life. Now we want to call on God. Why God? Why me? Please pray, pray, pray. God's shaking it up because it's, he wants you to learn a lesson. Everything is about learning lessons. And until you learn the lesson, it's going to keep repeating. History repeats. Because we don't learn a lesson. Look at how we repeat in the literal stuff that's in the Bible. Us as the descendants of these Israelites in the Bible. Because we are the people of the book. We're the descendants of these people. Look how history repeating for us. Look how the modern day Sodom and Gomorrah. Look how everything is repeated. Because we're not learning the lessons from years and years ago. We're not learning the lessons. We're not learning the lessons. And we want to sit around and complain. Learn the lesson. How hard is it to just learn the lesson? But we don't learn our lessons. And then we wonder why the same bullshit keep happening. We all have to take accountability. It's both. It's all our faults. But men as the leader, it's men do right. Women by fault. By default. But also us as women, we hold so much power. Especially as the black woman, we hold a lot of power. And if you learn your strength and learn when to put your foot down, learn how to talk to your partner, learn how to truly, truly move in silence when need to, speak up when need to, when needed. They won't do a lot of the stuff that they do. But we allow a lot of stuff. And all he got to do is come whisper sweet, empty nothings in your ear. Say, Lord, I'm sorry. And you ready to fall right back. It took me a while for that because I had, you know, with, with my first BD, I'm like, I used to be on that same cycle with him. I'm like, all right, you do this. And now I ain't messing with you. Now when you ready to be cool again, here you come buying me flowers. Here you come buying me. You can't be bought. And when you show a man that you could be bought, and when you show a man all he got to do is give you some D and talk that good shit to you, and you're going to be right back in it. All he got to do is come do a pat on the butt. All he got to do is come on, flirt with you, and do all of that stuff. That's all it takes. It don't take real change behavior. Why would they want to change? Even for women, why would she want to change if you're going to keep rewarding her for her BS? You know? 
So I'm I'm done preaching because I mean I can go on all day. I can go on all day. I'm sending prayers for all the mamas, all the families right now that's going through a trying time. But know that God got you. Know that this is happening so you can seek him. Because God is a jealous God. He don't want nobody before him. He wants you to always seek him. This is why it don't matter. Once he once one one once one prayer get answered, once you get one blessing, he gonna cause something else to happen. Cause he don't ever want you to get comfortable with thinking that you just got it all good now, everything's figured out. Don't need God no more. No, he wants you always needing him. He wants you always calling on him. So once one thing gonna happen, he's gonna make something else happen. He gonna answer that solve that problem for you, but he gonna bring another issue your way. Just so you can still need him because he wants to be needed all the time. Just like men. This is why I say men are made in God's image. They they act just like God. They want to feel needed. And when we so independent making all this money, and then we feel like we don't really need him. But my thing is, oh man, when you show a man that you in the ways that you do need him, men want to be needed in the ways they want to be needed. But when we show we need you for certain things, like, like this going on with this situation, she's showing you she needs you to get up. Because she can't do all that moving around because she got a C-section. She needs you to get up, take her to the hospital to see the baby. She needs you to get up, take the kids to daycare and all of that stuff to the summer camp. And you not doing it. When we, the time, the ways that we knew, do need y'all, y'all don't want to show up. Because you feel like she don't need you financially. But then again, you're not even in a position financially to really take care of your family. So if she don't, if she don't make the money, what the hell going to happen to the family? Because you ain't out here trying to make it. You know, this... Doesn't apply to all men, but for the crumb bags. This is for the crumb, lazy, lazy ones. The lazy Israelites who don't want to work. Who don't want to stay as a consistent provider. Now, right. but when she do show you, she needs you in other ways. She needs you to show up around the house. She needs you to show up for the kids. She needs you to show up for her. The things that she do need from you, you don't want to do that. Because you hating on her. Never be in a relationship with a man that got secret envy towards you, secret competition with you. Don't do it. Stop being in a relationship with men that you're doing everything for because he's only going to resent you. It really bites you in the ass. And then when you build him up, you build him up, now he's going to go leave you for the woman that got way less than you, making way less money than you because now he can feel like the man with her. This is why they go get with the little young ass girls. It's because... She need him for stuff that you did. Because she don't understand real reality of relationships. She's a little young girl. She don't understand bills. She don't understand the real, what it's really like to be in a household, to run a household. She a little girl. She probably still live with her mama. She probably ain't even faced some half the issues that you done faced as adults yet. She don't know yet. So it's easy to go get with them so they can feel needed. Because all she need them for is a little burger and some weed, a little drinky drink, and, and the dick from him. That's all she need from him. But as a woman who got his kids, you need way more. You need way more. And some of them not, they want to take their head off. They pick and choose when they want to be the man. You don't get to pick and choose. That's a hat you got to wear every day. That's the hat you got to wear every day. And that's why some men don't know what they're signing up for when they marry a woman. Some women don't know what you sign up for when you marry a man. When we give these men kids, you don't know what you're signing up for. Until you face that stuff. Until you have babies, get married, have real commitment, have real issues that you got, have real responsibility. That's when it gets hard and challenging. And men don't want to show up every day for that. But a woman, she got to show up every day. She got to show up every day to be a mom. She, ain't, she don't get no days off. Sick and all, having a C-section and all. He rushing her home just so she could take care of the kids. He ain't care for you to come home just because he wanted you out the hospital. He wanted you to hurry up and come home so you could get them kids off of him. Men are very smart, all of them. The bums and the high class, high value, whatever they want to call them. All of them know what they're doing. All of them do. They're very smart. They're very intelligent. They just play on our greenness. They play, they, they play on our intelligence, honestly. They play on our desire and desperation for love. They play on our 
uh, self-esteem issues. They play on the fact that they know what we didn't get as a child and that we vent to them about. So they know what to play on. They can sense the brokenness from day one. I told y'all in that little short video, especially narcissists, they can sense out a broken woman from a mile away. They can sense out a woman from, with so, low self-esteem from a mile away. They can sense it out. They smell you. They smell you. And they be like, oh, all right, I can get her. I can, oh, yeah, she's sweet for it. That's why it don't matter. That's why they be like, y'all money and stuff don't matter because you be having degrees, we make money and all of that and still be broken inside, still have no real self-esteem, no love. So they can play on that. They can play on that. They don't have to play on the money and all of that. They can play on that and get you to do whatever they want you to do. They can play on that and get you to provide for them. Sometimes that's why I be like saying, sometimes I be like, I wish I was a man. Because I be playing these bitches too, Brian. No shade on that. <laughs> Excuse my French, but it is. It's like some women, we play on men too for what we want to. Like, we got to stop playing games and really learn to be there for one another. It's about equal reciprocity. If you wouldn't want it done to you, why would you do that to somebody else? And a lot of women, you would jump for him if the, if the shoe was on another foot, but he wouldn't do it for you. So stop jumping so many through so many hoops for a man who won't ever do it for you. And vice versa if there's men watching this and this. But we talk about we talk about y'all in this video. So if you're a man, don't need you don't need, I mean you do need to watch it. But you know, so I'm done talking, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Deuces.